macOS Sequoia is coming and if you click on the thumbnail, you might be wondering if it's worth it to upgrade your Mac. So in this video, I will not focus much on the little features that were already there in public about macOS Sequoia, but rather I would like to focus on the bigger pictures that you and I as users will experience when we upgrade to macOS Sequoia. And what is that difference from macOS Sonoma? And we shall start with a very important feature and that is Apple Intelligent which as time goes on it will probably be the biggest difference between macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia but like I said it requires time because macOS Sequoia will not come out with all of the amazing features Apple Intelligent possesses in fact each of those features will slowly roll out after Apple Intelligent is to be released this coming fall as a beta version but we can also imagine how powerful macOS Sequoia will be if all of those AI feature matures and that is why I said it's probably going to be the biggest difference between macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia. However, that big difference will come with a price and that price is the performance and that is our second difference between macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia. According to info from many Mac users, macOS Sequoia will in fact support the Intel Macs. However, the Intel Mac itself will not support Apple Intelligence. The only two features that they will support on macOS Sequoia are iPhone mirroring and also screen tiling. And it will also support the smaller features available in macOS Sequoia. And the reason being is because Apple intelligence in macOS Sequoia requires a tremendous amount of power to run it efficiently, which is why even with the iPhone, they have to redesign the entire things, restructure the internal, the thermal, in order to have it efficiently run Apple intelligence. And for Intel Mac, if you have used one before, it overheats very easily, it's not very efficient, hence it won't be able to support Apple intelligence. On the other hand, if you're using M3 machines all the way to M1 machines, your Macs will support Apple intelligence and all of the features macOS Sequoia will bring. But it's also important to remember that a lot of the beta testers who are using M1 Mac report there is a bit of clunkiness when they upgrade to macOS Sequoia. Although it's a mixed review, some said they are good, but some said there are some bugs and some slowness, but we'll have to wait and see when the official version is rolled out for everybody. But you have to bear that in mind if you are using an M1 machine and you want to upgrade to macOS Sequoia. In addition to the difference between Apple intelligence and the performance difference between macOS Sonoma and macOS Sequoia, we can also see other differences in other parts of macOS Sequoia, and that is the difference in terms of Safari, the Notes app, and video conferencing, and even an additional to the macOS Sequoia which is called the password apps but probably the third biggest difference aside from Apple intelligence and the performance difference is iPhone mirroring where in Sonoma the OS allows the user to use iPhone as a continuity camera where you can place your iPhone next to your Mac and it can capture the video during a recording session so you can use your iPhone as a webcam. Whereas on macOS Sequoia, it will take that concept to the next level and that is with iPhone mirroring. With iPhone mirroring and if you have a system that supports macOS Sequoia, I can imagine many ways to be productive without having to pick up my phones using AirDrop and go through social media. I can just efficiently pick the file I want, drop it to my Mac, edit video, so on and so forth. So it's very convenient and if I want to reply to messages, I can just meet iPhone mirroring, um, see notifications, all of those kind of stuff. Basically, it's a very efficient and effective way to work and that aspect I can imagine doing a lot of things with, especially when I get my hands on macOS Sequoia. But overall, those are the main difference between macOS Sequoia and macOS Sonoma. Obviously, there are many smaller differences, but those are the four that I see as the biggest one. If you are using an, an older version of Mac, I would suggest to really do additional research in order to prevent problem. But from my opinion, I believe if you use an M1 Mac, then macOS Sequoia should be fine because iPhone 16, according to the benchmark, the it's not as good as M1, but it can still support um, the Apple intelligence. So I think if you use M1 Mac, it should be fine. Plus, according to my research, a lot of people say the experience on M1 Mac is quite smooth. So yeah, it you should be fine. 
But for Intel Mac users, maybe do a bit more research. And if you are able to use iPhone mirroring, then that is amazing because I think it's it's a very efficient and effective way to work. So yeah, that is everything that I want to share in this video. And I hopefully, uh, if you guys are considering macOS Sequoia, this video is helpful to you guys. And if it is, be sure to drop a like and a subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, goodbye, and peace.